we talk about control, this was a quote I was reading in the Senate from Keith Sobian, a PNM former Attorney General, right? But they stopped me from even quoting PNM. They so frightened. They so know that the people are sick of them and that they have been caught and the corruption is in the face of everyone to see. They could try to stop debate how much they want. Hear the quote from Keith Sobian. August 5th, 1995, because the PNM cannot get away from the DNA, which is to control every independent institution. The PNM must have control. Why? Because they suck. They're not good. So that nobody would want them. Nobody would actively choose them. They need to control the independence, gives them a rash. Merit makes them sick. They just want to control everything and thrust the PNM upon you to oppress you. Keith Sobian said, August 5th, 1995, Hansard, the government, PNM government, is committed to maintaining our democracy, which is founded on the principle that the elected members of parliament must uphold the constitution and the law. It is no part of our tradition that any person or group of persons, whether elected or not, should seek to control or overturn our parliament and other democratic institutions. Any such action must be firmly resisted by right-thinking citizens and met with the appropriate legal and constitutional response. Taking Keith Sobian words, former PNM Attorney General, what this current Attorney General Limor, what Imbert is doing is unconstitutional and should not happen. But do you know the ironic thing? Keith Sobian uttered these amazing democratic words while the PNM was calling a state of emergency to get rid of the speaker, Oka C. Paul. That was another instance of PNM, the DNA, to control. And if you don't do as they say, they get rid of you. And they will go to any means, no matter how far, no matter how oppressive, in order to regain control of you. Oka C. Paul, they call a state of emergency for the whole of Port of Spain in order to remove the speaker because the speaker would not do their bidding that's pnm and when i started to talk about that and then i was going to talk they, they mentioned sat sharma the attorney general limo quoted from a judgment a dictum of sat narayan sharma former chief justice when he said that separation of powers doesn't mean you, you cannot talk well that's obvious nobody said you cannot talk you could discuss you could share information you could give advice you could give opinion but you cannot control, you cannot coerce, you cannot instruct an independent office holder on what to do. But when they, they mention Satchama, and when I come to read and show the PNM DNA by reading out some from the Privy Council, the judgment which took 15 years to get the truth with John Henry Smith, which is the airport case on the, in the Privy Council, Listen to this, what the Privy Council said about the PNM involvement and the PNM attempts to control poison and conflict of interest, bias, actual bias, corruption, bribery, bringing pressure to bear. But it took 15 years for the truth to come out. This goes back to Bastille Pande, to the, the airport case and and Sherman McNichols, the chief magistrate, Lord Malcolm said, these appeals from two related decisions of the Court of Appeal of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago concern an application for the recusal of a judge presiding over criminal proceedings on the ground of apparent bias. They arise in the context of the long-running an extraordinary set of circumstances. The test for such a recusal is whether a fair-minded and informed member of the public who considered the facts would conclude that there was a real possibility that the judge was biased. On 24th April 2006, Chief Magistrate Sherman McNichols convicted Mr. Bastio Pande and imposed the maximum sentence. Okay? In July 2006, remember the name Sherman McNichols, you know? In July 2006, the police charged Chief Justice Satnarayan Sharma 
with attempting to pervert the course of justice. Subsequently, he was prosecuted with the chief magistrate being prospectively the main witness in the case. So Sherman McNichols is the main witness. First of all, he lock up Pandey. Then he go on to charge Satnarayan Sharma. Right? But let's find out what is this chief magistrate? What was his connection? What did the PNM do? How did they try to control? Was there any control over this Sherman McNichols? No doubt there may be, may be cases where circumstances peculiar. Sorry, I won't read that too much. Given the lengthy recital of the background circumstances, it will be apparent by now that there were numerous potential causes for concern. This is the Privy Council across the pond. And that's why PNM want to keep CCJ because they could control CCJ because of the interlocking directorships, relationships, cocktail parties, and PNM in the DNA. PNM, Balize juice poisoning the pool. That's why they don't want the Privy Council. Privy Council don't know nothing about flipping PNM. So Privy Council is just hear argument, listen to facts, and rule. Hear this. Now remember, Pandey get charged, prison sentence. The same man, McNichols, charging the Chief Justice, you know. Okay. I wonder why. Let's find out, Privy Council. Given the lengthy recital of the background circumstances, it will be apparent by now that there were numerous potential causes for concern. Concentrating for the moment on just one of them. Namely, the Chief Magistrate, Sherman McNichols, the man who locked up and they and charged and was the main witness to charge Sat Sharma, that the Chief Magistrate being beholden to the Attorney General, the Attorney General at the time is the PNM Attorney General, by January 2008, and in particular after the Mustill Inquiry revelations, it was clear that no benign construction was available in respect of his receipt and banking of the four hundred thousand dollars by then the full extent of his indebtedness to the attorney general the pnm attorney general indebted because the pnm organized with montai and pnm former treasurer and so on to pay up to get him out of debt four hundred thousand dollars and this man went and charged pande this man went to say he is witness to such sharma that the attorney general could be appreciated it is not difficult to um, imagine his gratitude say the privy council the board of the privy council he had the attorney general to thank for resolving his serious financial problems and shutting down an investigation into his reprehensible conduct. So the PNM not only helped him come out of debt for 400000 they shut down an investigation into his reprehensible conduct, says the Privy Council. When all of the various sources of concern are considered, together the observer would be likely to agree with the appellants submission that by january 2008 the chief magistrate was hopelessly compromised but that took 15 years to come out 15 years of pnm oppression 15 years of pnm lies 15 years of pnm concoction 15 years of PNM controlling independent officers, 15 years of PNM bribery, 15 years of PNM bringing pressure to bear on independent office holders, and now you have the Auditor General. Do you know Sherman McNichols then said the PNM, they went to try to remove Sat Sharma to invoke Section 137 of the Constitution, and the DPP wanted Sherman McNichols to go in the court under cross-examination and face lawyers to find out all of this. The PNM Attorney General 
instructed Sherman McLeakle's door going to open court. Say you um, you say that they had two things going on simultaneously. You go go in the political one, the one thirty seven section one thirty seven. Don't go in no open court. Don't go and sit down for no cross examination. Because what? When he sit down there, the truth would have come out then and there, not fifteen years later. That's what the PNM does. That's what they do to try to control. That is the pressure being brought to bear on the Auditor General. We now know who she is. We never know who she is. They're now calling she a UNC. They're attacking and balling Freedom Law Chambers and so on. Because that is the oppression and the control of the PNM. They didn't want me to say all of this and show the facts and the track record of the PNM in the Parliament. But I would do it here for y'all and Dogla politics.